Hey, there we are again. You know what that is? It's the face of capitalism absorbing a genre of music that used to call itself rebellious. Uh, <laughs> however, um, chill, okay? Chill. We're all metal fans here. Um, people kept, keep asking me, please show us your whole shirts and sweaters and merchandise collection. And I always wanted to answer that in a Q&A video, but um, people freaking don't watch Q&A videos. So I thought, just make a separate video. And there it is. Let's take a look at my merch collection. Everything, you know? Oh, start with that. Uh, disaster shirt uh, was sent to me by either Andy of Arnheim or Artenibris Media, former known as Fuchas Ananas. I don't remember. Please write it in the comments. I'm, you know, my memory. First one of my own collection, uh, I mean, yeah, I bought myself, is Sepultura, Schizophrenia. Very underrated album, listen to it. Oh, that's going to the, going to the washing machine anyway. Just like this one. Task Force Beer, a German grind thrash band. We played together with them in Mönchengladbach. And I thought, damn, they are great, and I bought a shirt. Next one is, you know this shirt, one of the, it's one of these shirts I like to wear in the Farvan videos, it's the Inquisition sh uh, shirt, Into the Infernal Reigns of the Ancient Cult. I was correct. Inquisition's still one of my favorite bands, even though I didn't like the latest album, it, because it's, it, freaking hell, it's very slow, considering it's supposed to be black metal. Next one! I wore that in the latest video. I don't know when this is coming out, but I wore it in the, you know, grindcore and black metal video. Vomitory. One of my first, one of the first death metal bands I discovered. I love them. It's awesome stuff. Every single album. I mean, yeah, every single album. What do we have here? Ah, Urinstinct. A German grindcore band aus, uh, from Bremen. Uh, we played together with them in, uh, in the, in Wuppertal or as I like to call it, Riesostadt. And I thought, hey, they're not that bad, so I bought the shirt. Uh, that's an NSBM shirt, um, uh, sent to me by some guy. And uh, yeah, I mean, I never, I, as if I'm going to wear an NSBM shirt outside of this apartment. So thanks, I guess. Uh, speaking of NSBM stuff and uh, weird political, um, Views. Forgotten Tomb. Italian DSBM, I mean, they are probably the, the most famous DSBM band, aren't they? The pioneers of Italian... You know Forgotten Tomb. I think I wore that shirt in one of my Dark Throne cover videos. Uh, actually, my favorite album is Springtime Depression, but this is Love's Burial Ground, which is also pretty okay. I'm not going to unfold every shirt, you know, because you, s you see why. Ah! Dutch band. Dutch band uh, v Wedergangig, Wedergangig, sorry for my Dutch pronunciation. Um, I bought this shirt and a CD, or was it, an, was it an EP? I don't remember. And they split up after that. Sorry to all the uh, Wedergangig fans, it's probably my fault they split up. One of my oldest shirts, as you can see, Belfegor Goldreich Flash Cult. Um, yeah. You cannot even you cannot even see the size. I think it's extra large. It's way too big for me. Even though you know my size differs between medium and extra extra large. God, I love that sizes are so reliable. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Great album. Rammstein, America. Why uh, why the shirt for the uh, America song? Because I totally share Rammstein's opinion on America. Not the people, just, you know, America. Cryptopsy, my favorite death metal band probably uh, from Quebec, Canada. If you don't know Cryptopsy, freaking hell, check out the first three albums. It's Cryptopsy. It's a Cryptopsy sweater. Where is it? There. This video is not sponsored, so buy all the stuff you, you want on eBay. That's where I buy most of my merch on eBay. So either secondhand or uh, if I really want to support the band, I buy it on the label. Don't buy stuff on Amazon. 
I cannot uh, reiterate that enough. Ah, is it Impaled Nazarene? Yes. Impaled Nazarene. I don't know much about that band. That, that shirt was sent to me by either Fuchas Ananas or Andy of Arnheim. Thank you much. Uh, th thank you much. Thank you much anyway. English good. English good today. Korgon Turus. I have to unfold this because you cannot see the logo. The logo is down there. It's 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 black. It's a black logo. <laughs> very nice. Uh, of the album uh, Maras. Very raw album. They re-recorded the album or remastered it. I think it was even re-recorded. Uh, but I prefer the raw version for obvious reasons. Uh, finished black metal. A Document 6 shirt. Hate everyone equally, you know, when you play guitar and sing for that band, you get a lot of shirts for free, so that's why there will be a lot of Document 6 shirts, I guess. Bloodbath! I think I wore that in one of my Q&A videos already. You know, people always write comments like, oh, Farfan bought a new shirt. No, it's just that I pick, pick the same shirts every time. Oh, I think I never wore that shirt, because otherwise Germans would have commented, oh, he owns an Eisregen shirt. Yes, Eisregen was one of my first favorite extreme metal bands. Uh, the early stuff is amazing. The new stuff... Uh, 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 Supreme Pain. Dutch brutal death metal with Art Klosterwald of Sinister on vocals. Um, I think I mentioned that album a lot. Cadaver Pleasures. Listen to Cadaver Pleasures. I love the sound of that album. It's just brutal. Like an ever-flowing stream, of course. This member, by the way, you know, I mean, I have a lot of, a lot, not a lot, but some younger people watching my videos, that's this member. Check this member out. Oh, a Document 6 shirt. That was the first album uh, where I was involved. Uh, Grind Revolution or something, Grind is Revolution, yes. Uh, the mix is awful, I would not listen to it. Uh, Document 6 mixes are still kind of awful, but... Um, I'm, I'm, I'll be in charge for the next album, for the upcoming album, Grindustrie. Grindustrie, it's, it, it's funny in German. Um, so I hope the, the mix will be better then. Horna. Uh, Horna, sorry, I'm, I'm holding shirts in front of the microphone. I'm sorry. Oh, mm, that's a shirt of a split. That's funny because it you know has two band logos, Gold Semen and uh, Anal Vomit. You can see by the cover, it's Black Death Metal. German band from Westfalen, Heimdallswacht. Black logo, grey, dark grey on black. Mwah. How much underground do you want to be? Yes. What? I have that twice? Seems like I'm selling a Crypto Psy shirt. If you're interested, write a comment. Great. Ah, uh, <laughs> the most favorite shirt on this channel, probably the Dark Throne shirt where I cut off the sleeves. It's getting very hot in Germany anyway, you know what? How do these people do that? <gasps> Next one is... Uh, Altus, right. Uh, I saw them live um, in the Helvete Club in Oberhausen, Germany. Um, my Durbatoluk drummer, Hymir, plays drums for that band. And uh, they're freaking nice. And their singer is a little... <laughs> But, uh, nice guy as well. Next one, band from Croatia, One Man Project. I don't know, you, you don't need to check this out. It's, it's just Zimorok. It's spelled Z-I-M-O-R-O-G. You don't have to check it out. <laughs> Sublast, I love you. Oh, and uh, sorry, one Dolbatoluk shirt. I had to keep one for myself. Of uh, It's the first shirts from Erzähle Baba Yaga, you know, with the witch on. Uh, on the cover and the back print. There are only, I think, 100 shirts of that. So if you own one, congratulations and thank you very much. Deicide, I think I wore that in the NSBM video. So people know that shirt because it's a famous video. You people, you want the, you know, these topics. Ah, Swiss! Paysage d'hiver. Uh, they are pretty famous considering that they are pretty underground, you know, because they only have two albums and uh, the rest of it is demos, but the demos are basically albums. 
I think he only likes to call them demos because they were released on tape or something. I don't quite remember. Cool stuff if you like meditation black metal. I think that's the latest shirt I bought, like two months ago. Also raid from New Zealand. Yes, New Zealand, it's avant-garde death metal. It, it's, it's basically um, death spell Omega, but with death metal instead of black metal. One of my oldest sweaters, it's a Nile sweater of Annihilation of the Wicked. Uh, it's printed on the back, I'm not unfolding this because I don't want to spend the whole evening with folding sweaters and shirts, I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, this is not my whole collection because over the years I got, um, no, uh, I lost like 20 or 30 shirts and let's say 10 sweaters, 10 to 15 sweaters because, you know, shirts get old, you throw them away, you destroy them. I've, you know, 10 years ago I was pretty wild and shirts got ripped and stuff, you know, or you forget them at places, stuff that happens, you know, one of my favorite shirts. Um, it's gone. I have no idea where it is. It's just... Whew, I forgot it somewhere. Where do you forget shirts? I don't know, festivals probably. And uh, one of my favorite sweaters was a Drowning the Light sweater of the EP The Weeping Moon, I think. It's gone. I have no idea where it is. And I owned a Destruction shirt of Craig Brain. Some of these shirts are... You can, you can see them on Arrogant Frank TV, on old Arrogant Frank TV videos, but they're gone. That's a very old sweater. I think I was uh, under 18 when I bought it. It's corn. Uh, from the album. I don't think it's a specific album. It's just it's a, it's a huge back print. Yeah, it's just some devil creature or whatever. I don't know what corn has to do with the devil, but. Oh, it's a Cryptop C sweater. If <laughs> you look at that. Full of cat hair. Their back print. Oh, yeah. Nice back print. Not going to show you. Uh, a band uh, that was recommended to me by Krachmucker TV, Ernie Wiedergänger, German black metal band, freaking freaking good. Bought the CD and the shirt immediately after listening to it on YouTube. You know, after listening to one song. Same counts for this band. No, 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 no. I bought a tape. I bought a random tape on eBay and uh, without listening to the band before, and it was pretty nice. Uh, Streams of Blood, a German black metal band as well. I think I used one of their songs in the video 10 levels of becoming a black metal head or something. Yeah, people and people kept asking, what's the song in the end? Even though I literally wrote it on the screen. Oh, Durbato Look shirt. The very last available uh, Durbato Look girly shirt in extra large. In extra large, yes. It's still available on Bandcamp. Another Inquisition shirt. Yes, why not? Oh, a shirt that was sent to me by a Swedish band. Uh, I think I wore it once in my in one of my videos. Kriegs Blut. I think I checked them out. They're pretty cool. Check them out. It's free advertisement as well. Oh, Corporal Shred. Uh, I'm going to shoot a music video for them. It's uh, a band from one of my friends. German thrash metal. Corporal Shred. I think I cut off the leaves. Uh, leaves? Leaves? The arms. Leaves? It doesn't make sense. Uh, the next one is a Corporal Shred shirt, because I got two. <coughs> Sabotage! Uh, unfortunately, with the uh, wrong logo, I wanted a shirt with, uh, with the logo of the album, Sirens. Uh, I love that album. The production is great. I just, it just feels like good old heavy metal, you know? I think I bought that shirt from my Bulgarian label, so thank you, Bulgaria. <laughs> uh, a shirt that was sent to me by one of my Discord members, Schrakst, a Volbeat shirt. You know, Volbeat, that weird band that's not even metal. Um, he said, maybe you can use that shirt. And I didn't use it yet, but there will be a video someday where I play a weird character wearing a Volbeat shirt. Goat's Magma from Estonia. I think I talked about them in the video Black Metal is Dead. Another video where people just read the title and wrote comments instead of watching the video and then writing comments. Ridiculous, guys. We had problems, you know, they didn't send me the stuff, and I um, wrote an email, hey guys, where's my stuff? And they said, oh, sorry, sorry, and then I received the, I think, the tape and the shirt with uh, with a note. Hey, Farvan, we love your videos. That, that was very wholesome. Good band. Another good band from uh, Finland, we talked about them before, is Korgon Turus. You know, the one uh, with the album Maras. Ah, Russian uh, black death metal. 
Pseudo-God. Or as we in Germany would say, Pseudo-God. This shirt was definitely sent to me by... Oh, uh, this shirt was definitely sent to me by Fuchas Ananas uh, or uh, aka Arte Nebris Media Mortician. Next! Speaking of Austrian bands... Ah, oh, uh, nice, not Austrian, you know. The guy who sent me that shirt is from Austria. Uh, Dornenreich. Um, I like the early stuff. Uh, I mean, the whole album Erzähle Baba Yaga was inspired by the song uh, Reime Fauch der Märchensarg. And that's a Dornenreich song. Would you look at that, a Document 6 shirt! <laughs> Wait. I have that twice, right? You wanna have that? Write a mail to Document 6, I, I'm not in charge of selling the merch, it's our drummer who gets all the money. All the money you make with the grindcore band. <laughs> ah, the most famous sweater on this channel, I guess. Uh, the Dark Funeral sweater. I love the early albums, the modern stuff sounds... I don't know, very polished. Uh, just like Dimo Borgia almost. Ah, yeah. A shirt that was sent to me by the bassist of Arnheim. Andy. Thank you very much. And I got a CD as well. Check it out. And beer, of course, because that's how you make me happy. You send me stuff with shirts and or beer. You want to know my address? It's on the about page of my YouTube channel. And if you don't know what that means, I cannot help you. Ah, yeah. Oh. This, this is still wet. Uh, it's coming out of the washing machine. Uh, decapitated. Um, winds of Creation? Winds of Change? No, Winds of Change is something else. Winds of Creation. Awesome album. Polish technical-ish death metal. Flusterars. Dutch. The Dutch band. I recommended in... I think it was in my autumn video, but I don't remember. I think I, I recommended them at some point because I met a... I met one of you guys on a concert of Document 6 and he said that he got into Flusterars because of me. That's nice when people, you know, admit that. Dark Throne, a place in the freezing moon, northern uh, Transylvanian Kadaverliebhaber, as I like to call them, uh, was given to me as a present from uh, the Gore Minister, a German YouTube channel. Check him out if you're German. I mean, if you're German, you know the Gore Minister, right? He's the second most important German YouTube channel when it comes to metal, after Krachmucker TV, who is the largest German serious metal channel. You know, I don't count Wacken TV and that shit. I'm sorry. I visited that guy. If you don't know the videos, uh, we made three collab videos, I think. A Burzum sweater was given to me by Eric, my best friend. 6,000 years ago, or was it 7,000 years ago? Something. Oh, Philosophem, it's way too large for me, so I cannot... Huh? Where's the cover? Oh, it's on the, it's on the front, right? It is. Yeah, what can I do with it? And to the people who saw the NSBM video and, and uh, are already about to write, I thought you don't support Varg Vikernes. I told you it was a present by Eric. Listen. Sorry, S people of, some, some of you make me very angry. Um, another Document 6 shirt. The shirt I wore in the stoner metal tutorial, still one of my favorite songs, I gotta say, even though the vocals are horrible. Um, Mystifier of Brazil. Or was it Mexico? No, they're from Brazil. I have problems, you know. I don't know why, but because Brazil and Mexico, they, they don't even share a border. But both are, you know, famous for criminal stuff, so... I'm sorry if you're from Brazil or Mexico. By the way, there, there's an upcoming video of me tasting Mexican candy. Actual Mexican candy. Brought to me from Mexico. Stay tuned, but not on this channel. On the Jarvan channel. The second channel. I have a lot of channels, you know, a gaming channel, a beer tasting channel, all that stuff. Another Corgonturus shirt from the... What, what album was it? Oh, I cannot even pronounce the album names. But I covered the very last song in the video I made together with uh, Jojo Plays Music. Lux. Was it Lux or was it Nox? No, the song was called Nox. Yeah. Great melody. Corgonturus, Nox, check it out. Venom. I don't think I've ever, I ever wore that shirt in a video, but yeah, I own a Venom shirt of my favorite Venom album. Welcome to Hell. Because I think black metal is freaking overrated. Welcome to Hell is... I like Welcome to Hell way more. If you like a band, especially an underground band, buy a shirt, buy a CD, buy patches or whatever. They need the money because if they don't get money, they are not able to continue what, with what they're doing. 
probably. So unless one of the one of the band members is pretty pretty rich or has a well paid job, so keep support keep supporting bands, and see you next time. Oh, the Patreons. <laughs> keep speaking of supporting, right? <laughs>